We were filming the scene where the, the hobbits run to the, uh, the Brandywine Bridge and get on the ferry. We were rehearsing, running very fast, as fast as we could, down this wooden bridge uh, and then jumping onto the ferry. And then in one of the times, as we ran down to get to the ferry, Dom got a wooden splinter through his, through his foot. An amazingly tough splinter, I think probably made of titanium. You think somebody cut his leg off? It was, it was, the sweat was pouring off him. You know, like, every time I put pressure on my foot, it was just an excruciating uh, pain, like, going up my foot. I thought he was going to pass out at one point, and, it, and everybody thought it was something really, really kind of serious. And I was saying to all the boys, I was saying to Elijah and Sean and Billy, I said, you've got to come over and see them take this splinter out, because it's going to be a whopper, you know? It's going to be, like, this big, and I'm, and I'm going to get it framed. And they take out this tiny splinter, and I was like, I cannot believe you made that fuss over that splinter. I kept it. I kept the splinter. Still got it. <laughs> so uh, after that, whenever, like, Dom did something, he'd start sweating. If anything happened, I'd... Is that a splinter? Is it... Are you OK? Boat. I, I'm, I'm running at a, dead, at a dead sprint, and I get in, and my left foot... And, the, and as my right foot lands about two feet in the water, just this huge, sharp pain, and I grabbed onto the side of the boat, and I just looked down, and I just... It hurt so bad. Let's sit him down and have a look at his foot. Where is it on the beach? Do you want to sit on the chair? Uh, his so. foot had virtually been been completely impaled on 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 this uh, shard of glass. When they took the uh, the prosthetic off, it was a big, old, deep gash in the foot. I mean, it was a substantial cut. Doing the same again, oh my god! It's a lot of blood, man. So Mark will get a, um, it's a lot of blood. Probably going to need a bit. There was this sort of globular um, thing that this mass that came out of his, the slit in his foot uh, that I was fascinated with. Master Frodo can play with my clots anytime he wants to. Fascinated by his blood clot. We were a good hour, an hour and a half's drive out of Tiana. It was a long way, it was quite remote. We called for a chopper to come in because we knew we needed to get him to a hospital very, very quickly because there was a lot of bleeding. So the helicopter guy came out and we jumped in and it was Jacques Cousteau's pilot. The guy who had flown Jacques Cousteau around on some of his expeditions, which I thought was really cool. When they all come riding up to the burning pile of orcs and they feel that Murray and Pippin have been uh, destroyed, Vigo vents his anger and he kicks the helmet across the landscape. And I said to Vigo, you know, I'm going to put the camera sort of down the hillside a little bit and can you try to kick the helmet as close as possible to the lens because it'll look great if it just like flies past us. And so Vigo did um, four takes. Each take, he kind of got closer and closer to the camera. The fourth take, I thought, was really good. I thought, well, that's pretty close. And then I thought, oh, look, he's got better each time. If I just give him one more take, I bet it's going to look great. So he boots this helmet. <coughs> and then he let out the scream. I thought, wow, this is strong. I mean, this is like Aragorn is like just in total grief at, at what's just happened to the Merry and Pippin. This is really cool. And he didn't say anything to us, but we found out that Vigo had actually broken two toes with that last kick and normally an actor would say cut cut i've hurt myself god stop quickly get the medic i mean vigo actually feeling that pain he actually turned that into performance mm -hmm. i mean he stayed in the character of aragorn he was letting that pain feed and drive his performance which is pretty amazing and of course you know it was the best take so it's actually in the movie that the moment that vigo breaks his toes is there on screen ah! orlando breaking his rib is huge he fell off his horse, and the scale double of uh, uh, Gimli fell on top of Orlando and broke his rib. I'd scored an injury, do you know what I mean? I was the first one to score an injury, and I think there was a little bit of jealousy that like, the hobbits didn't get the opportunity, didn't get the opportunity to fall off a horse and break a rib. It's a painful thing, and it's nothing to be sniggered at, and when he told us we were, 
gully all right and stuff. It was painful, it was very painful. And then when he told us the next day, oh, that's terrible, it's not getting any better. Obviously it was just a rib and I went, went and had it checked out and I was on set again the next day, so it was fine. <laughs> just part of the job. A week later, crack rib? Oh, is it still cracked, is it? Right, OK. My lungs are hurting, I, I feel like my pancreas has been split, I think my spleen has been ostracised. I'm whinging. Oh, really? And all babes, all babes are hurt, and I can't ride the horse, and now babes... And since then, I've, I've heard it in a few interviews as well, and... Uh, <laughs> I think it's still healing. It can be fragile. The was particularly the Markwood strain. It is really a little yes. part of the river that had some rapids in it. And we had a stunt guy lined up to do the sequence, but Vigo wanted to do it himself. They had uh, the safety guys, you know, the river rafting guys do it in wetsuits and they floated down and they figured out how it worked. What they couldn't calculate was the weight of all the stuff, you know. The way, there was just things that changed the way it was for me, I guess, floating down. The, the sword, the boots, the, the wool cloak that got wet and it was just like an anchor. So in any case, I didn't float to exactly the same spot they had and I hit this spot where the current hit this rock and went straight down. And before I knew it, I was on the bottom. The guys in the safety boats were like, where is he? What the hell is going on? And he, the current was so powerful, it was keeping him down. I already didn't have any air in my lungs hardly because, you know, when you really cold water, you, you, you contract, you know, your lungs kind of come together and you don't have that much air. And I guess I must have eventually you know, kicked against the wall or the rock and got just out of where this current was pushing down, came out of it, and uh, it was really scary. But the doing of it was interesting.